channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about feeling stuck in life, giving you guys some advice, and maybe it can really help you. We all have been there. I know you guys see my, see my video about being in a rut, and I have spoken about this previously in my videos about trying to figure out my purpose, trying to figure out the direction of life, because it's, it's so easy to get in an overwhelming state. It's so easy to feel depressed about where life is going for you because you had an idea of where you thought you would be and then life comes smacking you in the face and said, no boo boo, not today. <laughs> so I developed some tips that I actually use in my day to day life that may be can help you. So let's get into it. So maybe you want to find a new job. Maybe you're complaining to your friends about you want more, you know your worth. So here's a helpful tip that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. Start applying to jobs, at least one to five applications per day. You have to treat finding a new job like it is your job. And I mean that, like you have to apply because if you're not applying, how will a job know who you are? Okay, so you have to start putting in the work. I used to say finding a job is like a freaking full-time job on its own because you have to sit there and fill out the applications. You have to sit there and upload your dang on resume. After they just told you, you had to fill out all this, this questionnaires. So you have to really dedicate time each and every day to what you are trying to do. If you don't work and put in the effort, then what you think gonna happen? You ain't gonna find no job, boo. And I'm sorry to tell you this. So you really have to put in work. Or maybe you wanna quit your job, but you don't have the funds. You, you know you need the funds. Sometimes you can't take that leap of faith of quitting your job, but you know what you can do is you can find your worth and find a better job that's gonna help you fund your dreams 10 times more. And then allow you to even save for everything else that you're trying to do. I was raised to be smart and to make smart decisions. And yes, you have to take that leap of faith when it comes for you, but sometimes it don't happen. Sometimes your leap of faith is leaving a job you've been at for five or nine years. Sometimes your leap of faith is trusting in going into that interview and not being afraid or having fear that you won't get the job. That is what leap of faith is. Leap of faith is not always quitting your job, starting a YouTube channel, even though I love YouTube. But I can't just quit my job, why? Because at the end of the day, I have big girl responsibilities and I have two children. <laughs> but you know, I love them and I knew what I was getting myself into when before I had them. Another great tip is pay attention to your thoughts. We sometimes overwhelm ourselves. You know why? Your boss just got on your damn nerve and you know what? You're like, man, F this shit. And you want how I know? Because I have someone at my job who does that. And I'm like, oh God, if they call my name one more time, they gonna find out who Steph from the block is. Yeah, I said that, Steph from the block. Cause that's how annoyed I get. <laughs> but no, sometimes we play, we are, we paralyze ourselves in our own thoughts, you know? That is not saying that your situation isn't bad, but sometimes we are our own problem. You know, we don't put in the effort of wanting more. Hence, you ain't applied for that job yet that you've been waiting on or your friend has sent you. Oh, her. And another great tip is when you're feeling stuck is remember tiny progress is better than no progress. Maybe you apply to 10 jobs and nine of them said they didn't want you but you got that one that says we have referred you y'all know how usa jobs is if you are a federal employee you know how it is or your state jobs where they say you aren't eligible or you are like um they do like a three category type of situation sometimes you really have to look at the tiny little bit of aspect and take it in and say you know what okay cool that little bit of motivation will keep you pushing to keep putting in more applications or making you to take the next steps in your life of feeling stuck because that's why you're feeling stuck. You feel like you are not progressing in life. Another great tip when you're feeling down, boo-boo, always remember your best is yet to come. So often in life, 
we get so caught up in what everyone else is doing we get so caught up with your homegirls is doing and achieving but guess what their path is not your path you have to understand you have your own path and sometimes this is not your moment it's not your time you have to realize that and even though it's not your time that doesn't mean you slack off doesn't mean you don't put in the effort or the work you got to you got to because it's like i said how will people know what your business is if you're not actually dedicating time i tell you all the time that want to start youtube how do people know what you want to talk about if you aren't getting behind a camera or your phone and starting out people get so caught up in having everything to be a perfection but life is not about perfection life is about starting you have to start somewhere youtube i started youtube and i said okay i don't know how this is gonna work out i have my moments with youtube where i said i don't want to do this anymore especially when smaller youtubes constantly get the short end of the stick or IGTV coming along, you know, new platforms are coming along that can make you overwhelmed. Like, wow, am I good enough? You know, and you are good enough. You have to really self tell, not self tell. You really have to tell yourself that you can do this, that you can conquer anything in that just because you aren't moving on in life doesn't mean that you are stuck. Sometimes you are stuck in that particular position because you are there to learn something. It's either to help you grow. It's there to make you realize your worth. Sometimes we don't look at the signs that are right and smack dead in front of us. You know, I remember one time my job taught me patience. I had to learn patience because people was really getting on my everlasting and Kind of last but not least, feeling stuck is like a sign that it's time for you to move on. So often we aren't challenged enough and our jobs can really stunt our growth because we start developing habits that we really don't like of ourselves. And that's when you don't want to be. I have been there and I'm slowly getting there again. And I'm trying to do everything that I can to make myself happy. Even if you have a dope boss, even if you have cool coworkers, if you are feeling stagnant, if you are feeling stuck in life and it is not helping you with your career goals, it's time to move on. Like I said, sometimes we're our own, we're our worst enemies. We will create situations that don't even exist or we create situations because we didn't step out on fear or we were so, because we were so afraid of what? Keisha, Lamonte, and everybody else gonna say, or you know, what your parents gonna think, or oh, but I hope that these little tips can give you some type of motivation to keep pushing if you feel stuck in life. We all been there. Somebody right now is watching this saying, Yes, girl, that is how I'm feeling. We all been there because we get so caught up in what's happening in the social media world. But take a breather, understand you still gotta put in work. Nothing happens overnight and you still got to do what you got to do to get where you're trying to go. So I hope this video seeks you, finds you, helps you. And if it did, I hope you comment below <clears throat> because I'm slowly on this journey as well. I'm trying to find my purpose in life and sometimes it's smack dead in front of us and we don't even realize it. But you know what happens? We're so overwhelmed with life, so overwhelmed with bills that we can't just dedicate all that time to what we really want. But that's why you have to dedicate time even after your job. I always remember a quote. I'm probably saying it wrong. In life, you won't always have your dream job. But you have to find something outside of what you're doing. One to help you fund your bills. Find a hobby. Find something else that brings you some type of joy. You know? You just have to do what makes you happy and not think about anyone else's opinions and just do what you gotta do. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Hope this video really did, can touch you. And also motivational books are really dope too. So guys, I will see you in the next one.